Hi everyone, welcome to The Makeup Chair. So today's video is about contouring highlighting for all face shapes. So no matter what face shape you are, you can use this technique to contour and highlight. Now if you'd like to see the most common face shapes, then you can check the video up here, which will show you the most common ones. And if you'd like to see how to apply blush for different face shapes, unusual face shapes, not the most common, apply it here, blend it, then you can check the video here because it has a few unusual tricks to try. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial because it works for everybody and just keep watching. Because what you're going to do is you're going to envision an oval. The top is the top of your forehead, the tip is the tip of your chin. So this is the top and the bottom of your oval and the edges are the edge of your eye. So what you're going to do is you're going to trace around your face following that oval, so starting at the top, going alongside the eyes, and right down to the chin. So everything outside of the oval needs to be contoured and everything inside can be highlighted. Now this will work no matter what face shape that you have, because if you can see mine is kind of like an oval, but I still have this and this to contour. If you take someone with a triangular shaped face, they will go around, triangle is like this by the way, they will go around their face and realize that they only have the bottom half of their face to contour and the top of it's fine. Whereas if you have an inverted triangle, they'll do the opposite. So they'll realize that there's this here to contour and nothing down here to contour. So that's just a little simple way of putting it. I'm going to use my powder set by Blancavis Cosmetics to contour and highlight my face. These are all matte powders. So I'm going to start off by highlighting the face. So let's go again in visualing our oval. So we're going around like this. So everything in here can be highlighted and this works for most people. I'm going to use a mixture of this white and this kind of champagne color. Taking my F15 brush, I'm going to load it up with some powder. So it looks like that. And we're going to start off by doing the forehead. So what I tend to do is, as you can see, the light's coming in here and it's highlighting this area here. So I'm just going to emphasize that even more. So right along like this. And you can just bring it down slightly above the eyebrows and in between as well. I'm also going to do underneath the eyes. I've already applied my concealer under my eyes and I'm just going to pretty much set it with this. When you're doing it underneath the eyes, the trick is to come down and then right up here. So you don't want to come down in like a square shape or anything like that. Come down and then sweep up at the edges. And I'm also going to do the tip of the chin. That's only because I don't have quite a defined chin. So if I did have a very low chin, I wouldn't put so much on. I'm also going to do the center of my nose. So I'm going to squash down my brush and then I'm just going to go just a nice even line down the edge of my nose. Now if the bottom was fuller than the top, then you just kind of change it a little bit. But I just find doing a simple line is all that you need to do. Switching to a clean brush, and this is still the F15, it's still the same brush, but it's just the red one because this also comes in red. So I'm going to take my bronzer. Now because I'm quite pale, I'm going to take mostly this color because otherwise it's going to be too much on my skin. And just a touch of it. So we're going to envision our oval again. So everything outside of our oval needs to be contoured. So I like to do the kind of three sweep motion like this. Leave this gap along here, just keep that nice and highlighted. So don't interfere with that. So you're going right underneath those cheeks. So if you just feel along wherever the hollow is, because obviously some people are higher or lower, you feel along wherever the hollow is, that's where you want to place this contour. And then sweep it downwards. And remember to always do this nice and softly, and then blend it down the neck. So you can kind of see the difference between this side, which is thinner, my cheekbones look kind of higher and lifted, and my face looks a little bit thinner on this side compared to this. the edge of the nose, I'm switching to a smaller brush. It's basically the same shape as all the other ones we've been using, but this is the E25, so it's actually for the eyes. A little bit more of this here, not too much of that. And what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to work into my crease to begin with. So this is contouring the eyes for anybody who's wondering. So it's just in the crease and slightly above, but remember to leave a gap where your eyebrows are. So just underneath your brows, leave a gap. Bring it right up to your eyebrows here, and then from the eyebrows, work down the length of the nose. Depending on your face shape and your, your nose shape, I should say, you really want to just adapt this because if you're really thin up here but thicker down here, obviously you're not going to contour up here. You're just going to contour wherever it's kind of the biggest. But my nose is all the same length pretty much. Now for the tip of it, because I have kind of a biggish tip, 
of my nose, I'm just going to kind of push it this way to kind of give it a little bit more of a slender look. My brush is pretty much clear, so I'm just going to take a bit of the highlight white shade and just go underneath my brows. Also take a little bit of that and just work it right into the center of the eye. Taking my nice big fat brush, and this is sort of like the bigger version of everything that we've been using, so it's really, really big. And this is the um, F60. Just blend it to a point where it doesn't look insane. <laughs> now obviously it's not going to take you guys so much work to do this. I've overdone it so that it showed up on camera. But in real life you just want to apply a very small amount and slowly build it up until you get it to a point where you think it looks okay, but still looks kind of highlighted. Because you don't want it to be really noticeable. I'm also going to show you how to apply blush for a thinner face. So I'm going to take my very light pink here. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the duck face. Now this works for round shaped faces, but also square shaped faces or anybody who has fullness across the cheek. You're going to blend it on that angle going upwards. That is how you thin off your face by using contour and highlighting, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you do have any other things that you'd like me to cover, then just let me know. You can just leave a comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.